Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video I'm going to explain some of my tips for computer science freshmen. First, what math to take. A lot of different math classes, some of them you may like and some you don't like. I roughly listed these in order of what I think is important for computer science majors. Now, they may or may not be required in your curriculum, so don't take my word for that, but here's what I think is important in computer science. Number one, discrete math. That's the study of sets and set operations and how sets are used. So uh, intersections, unions, these kinds of things. You're going to find that you're using sets very frequently in computer science to solve problems. So a good clear understanding of sets and set operations is really important. So discrete math I think is number one. Two, statistics and probability, which is kind of numerical analysis and use of numbers and percentages. You're going to use a lot of calculations in computer science, so I think it's really important to have a solid understanding of that. And uh, number three is general logic, which could be uh, philosophy or math. The ability to make deductions based on given information, to reach conclusions, or to figure out efficient ways of solving a problem figure out how algorithms work. So being able to, to logic or reason through general problems, sometimes abstractly. And then next, linear algebra and geometry, because you're going to use those occasionally, but not every day. It's important to understand linear algebra and geometry, I think. Those are a pretty critical piece of computer science. And least of all, calculus. So I would say if you do poorly in calculus, don't fret. You can still be great at computer science you're probably never going to use calculus in computer science. So if it's required, I apologize to you for having to suffer through it. But I really don't think you need calculus to be a, a software engineer. So next is what programming languages to learn. I have a separate video that recommends the top five programming languages as Python, JavaScript, Java, C++, and C Sharp. However, I think SQL is also very important. That's basically the standard database language that pretty much every computer programmer is going to need to know. Among these programming languages, you should try to learn one or two of them at least before you start your computer science curriculum or at the very beginning. Having a very solid understanding of them is going to be important to build on in the later higher level classes. And you should understand, not just memorize. Don't just grind through the problems and turn in the homework without really understanding how the program works, how the code works how the programming language itself works under the hood, what's going on. You need to have a thorough understanding of the programming languages early on. That's going to help you later on. And you should use a variety of learning media. I'll cover that in another slide, so I'm not going to dwell on that. And learn by doing. Don't just study the book. Don't just write out your homework and turn it in, or write out the code and turn it in. Actually spend time writing programs to solve problems and understanding how those programs work. Write a lot of code. Figure out how to solve problems with code. I just said this, and now I'm going to repeat it. It's really important in computer science to get hands-on experience writing code on a regular basis every day. Join websites. So Top Coder, Project Euler, HackerRank, uh, CodeChef, Kaggle. But they're all really great uh, websites for learning to code. So they have coding challenges and, and problems that you can solve, tons of them. So you can reason through the problems and try and solve them. You can compete with other people. So these are all great sites to, to learn to code on once you learn the basics of a programming language. Use a variety of learning media. Don't just go to class, do your homework, and think you're done. So you should also try and learn from the textbook. Read the textbook as much as possible and understand the material in it. Read the textbook multiple times if you need to to understand some of the difficult concepts. And it's also okay to work with classmates on homework problems sometimes because you'll learn things from your classmates. Watch YouTube videos. There are a bunch of different online courses, YouTube videos that you can learn a lot from. Use the official language docs as I already mentioned. Stack Overflow and other forums. There are a lot of tutorials online. There are a lot of online resources you can use to learn different things about computer science. And as I already said earlier, learn by doing. Do solo projects, do team projects, because you also learn a lot by working with other people in a team. Do coding challenges, hackathons, internships. All of these are hands-on learning experiences that you really need in computer science. So use as much variety in your learning media as you possibly can. Find your interests and work towards them. What I mean here is you can either self-study to drive towards what you're interested in. If you find out you're, you're interested in big data, start studying up on big data or security. 
start doing some some study in your spare time over the holidays or whatever. Use online videos and other resources, uh, related courses, team projects, but take stuff that you can to drive towards whatever you're interested in in computer science. And the sooner you can find out what your interests are, the better off you're going to be because you're going to take more courses and spend more time studying the stuff that you like. Learn to use online documentation for languages. It's critically important. If you need to know how to do something in Java, the first place you should look should always be the Java online documentation. You should just have it bookmarked on your, on your browser. So you can quickly refer to and search through the online documentation for the main programming languages that you're using on a regular basis. Internships. Start early. So apply early for internships. And also, don't wait until your senior year to try and get an internship. If you can get an internship in your freshman or sophomore year, great, more power to you. Because if you graduate college with a computer science degree, but zero work experience and zero internship experience, you're going to find it very difficult to land a job. So employers are actually looking for people who have the education, but also have some hands-on experience working in a company environment. It's pretty important to get internship experience also, you're going to focus on your problem-solving skills and your ability to uh, work with others. And uh, you're going to build relationships with your coworkers so that you can possibly follow up with them later on when you're job hunting. Build a portfolio. So each time you do a project, save it. Add it to your portfolio. So you can either use a personal web page where you list out some of the projects you've done with possibly links to, let's say, a web project or something. Or put some of your code on a GitHub page. Set up a GitHub account, it's free, and just start putting your code into GitHub so that you can save and kind of archive some of the important projects you've done over the years throughout your education. If you contribute anything to open source projects, that's important too. If you built any mobile applications, again, you can store mobile apps on GitHub. You can store all this stuff on GitHub. So anything that you, you do throughout your, your um your bachelor's program, you should try to build a portfolio of what you've done. You're basically resume building. Network. Make as many friends as you can in the computer science field. And use LinkedIn to connect with them all so that you know who your friends are and you're connected with all your friends and you know how to reach them all at any time. And you should collaborate with, with classmates on projects so that you can make other new friends. Don't be a clam in any of your classes. You need to reach out and make friends with your classmates. And get to know your professors, because later on, your classmates and your professors are going to be a really important resource for you in your job hunt and in your career. So those are my tips for computer science freshmen. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.